welcome back to 950 Lounge, the extended hour. We have the pleasure of I'm speaking with the the talented thank Ty you. Robinson. Thank you. thank you, thank you. So if you're just tuning in, um, now remember, your first EP was named The Ty Robinson Complex, yes, which yes. you recorded out in London. I want to touch on the complex, because complex can be many things. So I yes. wanted the, your fans to know, you know, what, where do you get your, your inspiration for, for your music, and why did you specifically name that? Well, so pretty much my my inspiration for music is pretty much like music itself. And I know that sounds so corny, but like I could listen to something really dope on the radio and then be like, yo, that inspires me to want to go in the studio and make my own dope record. Mm -hmm. And um, the whole complex was pretty much like, okay, that during that time was pretty much, I wanted people to kind of get to know my thoughts and the complex. So it's like, kind of like pretty much like a... Like an idea of pretty much like who is Ty Robinson is. So when you listen to that EP at that time, it's pretty much like Ty at his raw form, like the ideas that go on his head. And it's so many different types of things on it as well. So it's like different just views and different sounds that make up Ty Robinson. So that's why it's like the complex. Because even in apartment complexes, it's like there's so many different people in that building. So it's like. Especially so the project. Exactly. Yeah. Which yeah. I come he from. Shout out to the project. I'm from project. there. They say complex. <laughs> <laughs> that's a nice way of saying That's a nice way of saying project. project. But I'm from the projects too. So what up? Yeah, everybody in the projects. What up? This is complex. So when Ty's just taking it down a notch, yeah. okay, just relaxing. What what do you listen to? What, what's in your what's in your Rolodex of music? So right now, I love uh, Bryson Tiller. Okay, mm -hmm. Bryson Tiller is dope. Seven Street is dope. Mm -hmm. um, I love on beat music. Anything that has like uh, uh, harmonies in it, I'm down for it. So is it more the new age guys? Or you like the older school? What what's or a combination of both? A combination of both. I mean, I definitely like Usher. Usher's dope. Chris mm -hmm. Brown is dope as well. Right. Um, Beyond dope, but that's another Beyond thing. dope. Okay. <laughs> But um, just music itself, like I listen to so many different things. Like it's, I have so many people I listen to. I can't even think right now. It's it's so vast. Right. Did you have a favorite artist that you just love growing up? Because at seven, to know that you want to sit and write your first song, and you already noticed that you you're, you're musically inclined, and you want to. We all have that one person that we loved mm -hmm. as a kid that just like I just gotta sing. Is, was there somebody for you like that? I would say I, I wouldn't say necessarily like there was a, 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 a specific person, but I would say my house growing up in my house they played music all the time like whether it was stuff that I wanted to listen to or not I have older siblings so you know how that works pretty much mm -hmm. whatever they want to listen to you listen to but I'm grateful for that because based on that they kind of introduced me to R&B and hip hop so it's just a combination of like everything like 90s music 90s music pretty much like it's why I'm oh, me. so it's safe to say you ain't gonna be playing no Al Green or Oh, uh, how Melvin in the blue notes. My, well, my mother, she did, you know, you know, well, he's kiss out. the same <laughs> age as your mama. Um, so, um, you know, he would, you know, he might went to school with well, mom. It, it, it ain't nothing wrong with that, though. <laughs> shout out, shout out to the older crowd. Yeah, what up, yeah, older yeah. crowd? Uh, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, you, I wonder you're going to put that spin on it. Well, you know, shout out to the older. You know me well. You know me well for yeah, for the for the Jarrett Hall. <laughs> but um, then, but um, do you listen to like old music? Because I mean, a lot of young people do go back and listen to the old music and give them that. It's Inspiration. Well, it seems like that's what pretty much everybody's doing nowadays. If yeah. you're listening to music now, they sample and everything. Mm -hmm. um, I listen I listen to old stuff. Um, I do, well, not old stuff, but I listen to, you know, the throwback, the classics. Let me say classics. The classics, I do. Um, but honestly, I like I like the new stuff more. Right. But yeah. I do listen to classics sometimes. But, you know, if I was mm -hmm. listening, if I had to prefer one, mm -hmm. to feel like kind of like the new stuff. Let's talk about the business of the music game. Obviously, with um, HBB and yourself, mm -hmm. you have over 900 streaming downloads on the, the Ty Robinson Complex EP. Thank Congratulations you. on Thank that. You. That's, that's not easy to do. Um, talk about the, uh, the business of music. Obviously, in your artist, you have your manager here, but you know it's not just about making music. Yeah. It's 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 you know everything outside that that affects the music. Talk about some of the challenges you've had in that independent world of being well, the best artist you can be. It's so it's definitely hard independent because you know you don't have that machine behind you, mm -hmm. so you're like you got to grind even harder. But I think it's more rewarding because when you do pop off, it's like okay, you could be like, hey, this is all me, and you, and it's more profitable too mm -hmm. because you get all that money instead of having to split it with this person, this person. Right, it's better, but it's harder but I know it's going to pay you off now you'll be you're going to be a part of the the next next up to the stage December 15th in New York City so, you know, I know you guys are set yeah, for that yeah, definitely, what definitely. could uh, the people in New York City like you know obviously D DSN has a following but talk about talk to the the people who may have not heard of Ty Robinson they hear this interview say wow this young man I'm rooting for him he's got a great great diction he speaks well he's, he's about his music he served our country talk about what people can see December 15th in New York City oh you guys are definitely going to see some swag we're going to turn up for real. I love turning up. I love partying. Like I was just actually out last night partying. You gotta like, meet our cousin Triple OG. I 
Mr. Henny himself. Oh, oh. <laughs> only, on, but only on Tuesday nights. Only on Tuesday nights. Only on Tuesday. Like that song on a Tuesday. Okay, I know. Wednesday, he ain't no good to nobody. Exactly. Yeah, Wednesday, definitely Wednesday. Wednesday, thirty ain't no good to nobody. Exactly. Yeah, Wednesday, thirty ain't no good to nobody. I'm about to definitely do that then for sure. She'll be there too. But you were saying about what the people will see on the fifteenth. So yeah, they're definitely gonna see you know me do my thing. I'm gonna turn up for real. I'm gonna give you guys a show. I mean, you guys heard the single. Goddamn, it's got actually mm-hmm. sneak preview because no one's actually heard that song. It's actually mm-hmm. gonna be dropping in January, okay. so that's pretty much what you're gonna hear. Turn up like live, just a good time, all about having a good time, and just mm-hmm. be turn. Like, you I want, want them to, to turn it up in the club, like, turn party. it up. Like, I just, I just want to have a good time. Like, so you guys are gonna have a good time. Yeah. Where's my snare? Where's yeah. my snare? Yeah. He ain't say that. He just said turn it up. <laughs> <laughs> we got a few minutes left in the segment, Ty. Thanks for coming. We gonna definitely. Well, have I want to know well, where, 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 where can people follow? Well, I didn't. You didn't let me. We ain't get to that part yet. Oh, here we go. Here we get to that part. Yeah, sure. Gone. They gone. Um, <laughs> I appreciate before that. Before we 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 gonna definitely tell me where they can find you at. But before we do that, I want to ask both you guys, okay. management and artists. Obviously, again, you guys are just kind of peeling the onion back on his success and, and what you're doing as a business. I'm gonna start with you first. Mm-hmm. What's the five year plan for Ty Robinson? The five year plan for Ty Robinson is. He sound well. First off, I mm-hmm. mean, everybody when they hear his sound, you know, they compare him to Chris Brown, right? Because he mm-hmm. sounds like Chris Brown. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we already, you know, are on that path because he has mm-hmm. uh, an agent, right? You know, that deals with the, you know, the, the movies and mm-hmm. the commercials. So I want to have his career where Chris Brown is at, but a little bigger. No, no doubt. No, definitely. That's my five year plan. Oh, I thought you said clear that, that check will clear in five years. <laughs> Nah, I need a little bit. Yeah. Hold on, I'm about to say, I hope it doesn't take five years to clear. Yeah. <laughs> you be in front of the bank. It's five years now. Uh-uh, now that needs to clear as tomorrow. Artist, <laughs> as the person living it, I want to ask you, what's what's the five year goal for Ty Robinson? Oh, I definitely want to do some tours for sure. Um, I definitely want to go. I definitely want to put out my first like official album. Um, and um, I just want to show people that you know it's okay to be different. And I just want to just show people that uh, you don't have to. Technically, do what everybody else is doing. You can create your own thing uh-huh. and just be you. I be just want to inspire people. Yeah, be and just be yourself. That's, That's only four, five. bro. You got one more. You you cheating yourself. He said five. That's no, four. I said the five year plan. Yeah, but your, five years. I didn't four. say he had to have five things. Oh, my <laughs> bad. My bad. I, was just I know to it's help. getting late for you. have been early bad. morning. I know. And, I and, a, and a lot of checks. A lot of checks. Yeah, yeah. A lot of checks. You have to. Yeah, I'm a lot of checks. Sapphire, you can ask him. You have a five year plan, Sapphire. What's your five year plan? My five minutes. Plans, <laughs> you want to ask him now where they can find him at? That's <laughs> oh, Stay tuned to the Blue Experience. Um, watch what happens in January 2017. Uh, you can find Mr. Ty Robinson where? You can find me everywhere <laughs> at Who is Ty Robinson? Uh, T, excuse me, Who is Ty Robinson? Um, you can download my stuff on iTunes. I have my single guaranteed on iTunes. So download that in Spotify and Google Play, pretty much anywhere music is at. I'm there. Type me in Ty Robinson and download my music. Mm. And what we'll add to the to, to that table, we'll we'll put your links on our Facebook yes. and on our website as well. Appreciate Absolutely. it. Um, again, man, congrats. I, I, yeah. I'm really again just enjoying this conversation, man. I mean, again, it's 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 a pleasure. We we do this for a while. We've been doing this for a while and we bring people up and I, I'm just big on when people can communicate and speak because it is radio. <laughs> so yeah, I thank that good bro. I just want to ask a question. You said you was in the military. Yes. What do you think about the lot of the NFL? Rodeo, we just said oh, like I said <laughs> what I here for music. Oh, yeah, you're not you touching on that maybe, question you know, right maybe, now. Maybe he was oh, outside when he that was, was. He was. No, 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 I appreciate that. We, we right. so my brother, HBB, thanks <laughs> yeah. for coming. December 15th, 15th again. Next up to the stage, DSN, Victor Sosa Productions. You're going to see this man, Ty Robinson, on stage. We're going to take a quick. Uh, no, we know, we're done, right? No, oh, we're going to rap with a song. song. Which Another one are we rapping out with? Which one we rapping Guaranteed. 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 We're going to rap with Guaranteed, Guaranteed. real quick. Yeah. Give me a breakdown of what Guaranteed was about when you was writing that. So, pretty much, uh, Guaranteed was one of the um, dope records I recorded with this group called uh, Theory, mm-hmm. um, production team. 
came out then Cali and it's pretty much that Cali sound very influenced by Cali so this is that turn up record because you know like I said I love mm-hmm. turn up so when you hear this record you're going to want to turn up fast car like Tupac said yeah. fast car low and bitches riders. from Cali low ride we're going to we go with that song we're going to wrap it up Nah, it has been a great show thank you DWI thank you for tuning in yet again yeah yeah we had and, a great um, time let's go with the song